Well, submachine guns are still pretty lackluster this season because, well, their damage output just does not compare with the 3-shot meta. That being said, I still love SMGs, so I played around with them a bit and I have some recommendations. First, I'll go over my honorable mentions, and they're the Outlaw, I mean, the QQ9 and the GKS. This may upset a lot of people because so many players love these guns, but the QQ9, even with its 10mm ammo, is just too inconsistent in its damage and time to kill to be very reliable. This is due to its awkward arm hitboxes. The GKS, on the other hand, shoots slow, so in order to compete time to kill wise, you're gonna need to always hit headshots. And if you can do that, please apply for a pro organization. Now, with the honorable mentions out of the way, let's get into my first recommendation, and it is the RUS. Still, a good, reliable SMG. It's got a lot of attachment options to make it very fast and mobile, which is excellent for being agile and aggressive on the battlefield. Where it lacks, however, is the damage output. It shoots fast, and its recoil is like really easy to control, but its damage output is not the best, and you'll lose a lot of gunfights if you don't shoot first and strafe like a madman. My next recommendation goes to the Razorback with the Rapid Fire perk. I know this comes off as a bit unexpected because it's kind of heavy, but it's all about damage. It can't 3-shot kill, thank god, but its damage is comparable to that of an assault rifle, allowing it to 4-shot kill up to about 15 meters. It's like a pocket Kane 44 or LK24 when it comes to time to kill, being able to kill slightly faster than these assault rifles with a rapid fire perk. As mentioned earlier, it's not as nimble and fast as other submachine guns, and it doesn't have that many good attachment options to increase its mobility. So my advice, don't get too aggressive. Third, may I suggest the Fennec? Arguably the best close range submachine gun right now, it's just god tier where it excels. It kind of reminds me of the times I used the MSMC back in season 2 of last year. It has good hip fire for spraying in close quarters, great mobility, mostly vertical recoil, so while it is strong, it is a bit easy to learn. And it shoots incredibly fast. This is one of those guns you bring out if your internet is terrible. Best for getting up close and personal with your enemies, I guarantee that if you're an aggressive player, you're gonna love this gun. A little heads up though, you're gonna constantly burn through your bullets at a rapid rate. For my final recommendations, I have the AGR 9mm and my favorite SMG right now, the QXR. First, let's talk about the AGR. The AGR that I'm talking about is the one without the 5.56 magazine. Now, the 5.56 magazine has better range and damage, but the normal magazine has much better close range time to kill due to its faster fire rate. Think of an RUS but being able to 4 shot kill up to 13 meters to the upper body. As long as you don't shoot the legs, you've got a consistent damage output that is deadly with its relatively fast fire rate that will allow you to challenge guns within the 20 meter range. The shake of the gun may turn off some people, but do not underestimate this gun. It's good. Finally, we have the QXR. The enhanced bolt perk is mandatory on the weapon by the way. Fire rate nearly comparable to that of the MSMC, as well as a lot of attachment options to build it for aggression and precision, this gun is just awesome. It does struggle in the range department, but as long as you get close enough to your enemies, you're going to do fine. If you want to increase its range, my advice is just to pick either the monolithic suppressor or the marksman barrel. If you do both, it's kind of overkill in my opinion, and it would be much more advisable to use an assault rifle at that point. It's already quite viable within the 20 meter range, which if you ask me is already versatile enough for an SMG, and most of all, it just feels good to use it. Sometimes how a gun makes you feel can also affect how you perform with it. That's all I can really say about this weapon, it is literally top tier in the SMG category. That's all for my top 5 SMGs for season 2. Comment down below your favorite SMGs for this season, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.